Hi folks and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Today's simple and delicious recipe is a one pot meal. Once you learn the methods, once you get the confidence of building these one pot meals, you'll be able to switch it up and make it your own. The alternatives are endless. You're gonna love it. Let's get cooking. Place six or seven canned plum tomatoes in a bowl, dice them up with a knife and a fork. Now for our sausage. To remove the casing, simply slice the sausage down the center and peel back the casing, place them in a bowl, and now we'll brown them up. On a medium heat, give it a light spray of cooking spray. And just saute the sausage until they're browned up nicely. Then remove the fat. Just simply tip it over on its side. Pour out the fat. And we'll set that sausage off to the side. Now we're going to use the same pan, of course. We're going to add two cups of onions and a teaspoon of olive oil. Cook on a medium heat for about five minutes. Then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. And when the five minutes is up, we'll add our garlic. Three cloves, finely diced. They only take a minute and a half or two to cook. You can smell the aroma now. Now let's add a quarter cup of butter. Once that's all melted nicely, we'll add two tablespoons of flour. We're making a roux. We're thickening it up. Once that's mixed in thoroughly, we'll add our broth. Let's talk about some different broth options. Of course, it's always nice to have your own in the freezer. Not always practical. In a box, chicken or beef or vegetable. I get the reduced sodium one, add your own salt. Now here's a different one, not easy to find in all your big stores, but you can find it in Latin food specialty stores. It's a chicken and tomato base. Delicious, and when you're doing some Mexican cooking, rice, soups, etc., great flavor. Now we have the concentrated chicken, beef, vegetable stock comes in a jar it's a paste that lasts for a long time in the fridge it goes great when you're just going to add some flavor to some stews or soups or if you need a cup or so of chicken broth beef broth vegetable broth it's perfect today i'm using the vegetable one it's a concentrated vegetable base it's organic and it's reduced sodium. It's delicious. They were given out samples at Costco. I liked it and bought it. Let's get back to the stove. I've got two and a half cups of my vegetable broth. Adding a bit here and a bit there. We'll smooth that out until it gets to a nice creamy consistency. And then we'll add our tomatoes our six to seven plum tomatoes that we diced up. We'll pour that right into the mixture as well. Once that's blended in well, we're gonna add one cup of rice and some seasoning. One teaspoon each of salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. If you're a cilantro fan, a quarter cup of fresh chopped cilantro goes nice. The remaining of our vegetable broth and our cooked sausage that we had sitting on the side. Give it a good stir and we're going to let that simmer on a low heat covered for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, give it a good stir, cover it again and continue to cook it for another 10 minutes on low. And that's it. It's all done. You know, you could add any vegetables you like to this dish. Mushrooms, zucchinis, red peppers, yellow peppers, or change up the protein. You could use ground chicken, turkey, or beef. How about using quinoa instead of rice? It's endless. 
get creative, make it your own. That's what makes cooking such a wonderful thing to do. Well, I think it's time to serve myself up a bowl. I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of cilantro. Oh boy, doesn't that look mouth-watering. Well, that didn't take much time at all. And talk about simple. Listen, if you try this recipe and you change it up a bit, I'd love to hear how you change it up and made it your own. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos. I put one out every Monday. If you hit the little red subscribe button, you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. Let's try the goods. Oh, man, it's creamy. All those vegetables, bit of garlic. I love that cilantro on top. You're going to love it. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya. We're doing a one pot meal. When you get used to doing this, you'll really like it. God. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Today's simple and delicious recipe is a one pan. One pan, one pot, doesn't really matter. <laughs> God. Thank you.